Agency. Now, Oprah Winfrey, the media mogul, will receive the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the next month's Golden Globe ceremony. The Hollywood Foreign or the Hollywood Foreign Press Association says Winfrey is being honored as a global media leader, philanthropist, producer, and actress. The group says Winfrey is one of the most respected and admired figures today, as well as a role model for women and young children. The 2018 Golden Globes takes place on January 7th. Actor Dwayne Johnson was given a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame Wednesday. The 45-year-old's girlfriend and daughter were there as he received the honor. Johnson gained national fame as a professional wrestler under the name The Rock. He soon left the written to star in a string of blockbusters, including The Mummy Returns, The Scorpion King, and several films in the Fast and Furious franchise. In 2016, Forbes listed Johnson as the highest paid actor in Hollywood. I will say that man is taking over Hollywood. Now, Bon Jovi and the Cars are amongst the newest inductees into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The organization announced the list of Wednesday, which also includes Dire Straits, the Moody Blues, and Nina Simone. Late gospel pioneer Sister Rosetta Tharp will be honored with the award for the early influence. To be eligible, bands and artists must have released the first commercial recording at least 25 years prior to being inducted. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony will be held will be held April 14th in Cleveland. And Sony is staying in the Michael Jackson business every year. The late king of pop still generates more than a million track downloads by, and fans buy more than half a million John, or Jackson albums. Now his estate and Sony Music have extended their partnership, which brings in tens to hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Oh my gosh, What's MJ that? still killing it, I he love is, it. He is, he is. Now, Kristen Bell is making history as the first person to ever host the On-Screen Actors Guild Awards. Next month, award ceremony will be featuring an all-female presenters. All 13 of the night's trophies will be presented by women. The show's executive producer calls it a response to Hollywood's sexual harassment scandals and a salute to the women who have been very brave in speaking up. That's right. Meghan Markle has her Christmas plans finalized. Kensington Palace says Markle will join her fiancé, Prince Harry, and several other royals for Christmas at Queen Elizabeth's country home. The move is not the norm for Britain's royal family, who typically only extend invitations after a couple has already tied the knot. Prince Harry and Markle announced their engagement last month after dating for about a year. The two are expected to get married next May, and we're going to be right there with them. I think we've <laughs> all fallen in love with that couple. Now, speaking of the royal couple, Prince Harry and his fiancée, Meghan Markle, have decided on a wedding date. The couple will marry on the 19th of 2018 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. So, I mean, I can't wait. I think we're all pumped we're about all it. We're all going to be following this very closely. Stay with us. We've got more midday right after these messages.